football we go. The Hawaii Warriors, they're on their longest road trip of the season. Ten days they'll be on the road. Hawaii is looking for their second straight conference victory as they face Utah State tomorrow. The Warriors have won all three games in whack play against the Aggies, averaging 55 points a game. But UH isn't taking Utah State lightly, even though they have a 1-7 and seven record. Uh, you know, they play well at home. You know, they took it to Fresno last week, and it's tough. They're, they're going to be a tough team. They're going to play hard, and, you know, we kind of got to throw their record aside and just focus because we know it's going to be a battle going in there. You look on film, they, like Coach said, they look undefeated. They got athletes. They got guys who can run, who can, you know, throw the ball, whatever, and they're a great team, so we're going to have our hands full with them. A kickoff for tomorrow's game is at 9 a.m. local time. And that rivalry in Utah, Weber State coach Ron McBride made his facilities available for the UH football team to practice in today. The Warriors experienced firsthand what it's like to play 4,000 feet above sea level, and Coach Mack also picked which QB will start against Utah State. Will Alexander be your starting QB? Yeah, uh, Greg's going to start for us, and uh, you know, Anoki will play in the ball game. But, but uh, you know, Greg's uh, deserves opportunity to get out there and play. Uh, but both of them will play. And despite their one and seven record, Utah State will be no easy task for Alexander, who is making just his second start of the season. For the last seven weeks, Greg Alexander has bided his time to jump back into the spotlight. And last Saturday's game-winning drive with less than 20 seconds to go against Nevada gave the UH coaching staff the confidence that Alexander was ready to take the reins of Hawaii's offense. I, think, I mean, the difference is night and day. I can't even tell you guys how much I learned from watching Inoki and Tyler out there and just because you see it from a different perspective. I mean, when you get to step back, you get to just kind of focus in on the secondary and see what the receivers are seeing. It's going to help you that much more. Leading the way for Utah State's option attack will be quarterback DeAndre Borrell. The sophomore averages 53 yards of rushing per game, and his 11 total touchdowns have accounted for more than half of Utah State's scores this season. Even with this quarterback, um, he's probably the fastest we faced all year to where, you know, we had to work on our angles and, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. If you don't see speed and you, and you don't really practice against a running quarterback like that, it's hard to adjust to it. And while Utah State has just one win in 2008, the Warriors are not about to take them lightly. Fresno State needed a last-second 58-yard field goal to beat the Aggies last weekend. Yeah, this record don't show anything. They played top teams like BYU. They played, they played Boise. They played Fresno. They played a lot of good teams. And with just one win, you look on film, they, like Coach said, they look undefeated. And piling up wins is something that Hawaii needs to do if they want to see their bowl dreams come to life. UH must win three of their five remaining games to become eligible for the Hawaii Bowl. We want to win out. You know, If we win out, we're going to a bowl game no matter what. So our goal is to win out You know, from here on, go undefeated, and we have a great record. And kickoff between the Warriors and Aggies is set for 9 a.m. Hawaii time tomorrow. Four and four Warrior football team less than 15 hours away from kickoff against Utah State. Hawaii has never lost to the Aggies in conference play. And to keep that streak rolling, they'll need to do it in some non-tropical weather. Expected to be in the low 60s tomorrow. I think once we get out on the football field and everybody's adrenaline gets going, you know, the weather won't be a big deal. When it's time to play, it's time to play. Uh, talk to other guys uh, who usually play in that kind of weather and they say they love it. So I don't know, just ho uh, hoping I won't be... Uh, Frozen like a pop school out there. <laughs> Warriors four and four, three and two in the whack. Aggies one and seven, one and three in conference kickoff set for nine in the morning Hawaii time. And finally, Rainbow Warrior basketball team continued practice today for Sunday night's exhibition opener against UH Hilo. And in the spirit of Halloween, we tried to find out what the guys in green have done for trick or treat time. What's your all-time favorite Halloween costume? Oh, I'm probably just going to have to go with the traditional Superman costume <laughs> with the mask and the cape. I don't know. Maybe the, I was a lion from Lion King back in the day, but that's, that's all I can really remember. Wow. I don't know. Uh, I guess being a chicken uh, in one of these Midnight Madness games, you know, that was probably the, the highlight of it for me.